All the thoughts there of Hibs manager Nick Montgomery ahead of today's clash against Aberdeen. Let's have a little look at the Hibs line-up for today's game, as the manager said. No changes from last week at Dingwall. Hibs go with Jojo Wallacott, Chris Cadden, Rocky Bashiri, Paul Hanlon, Jordan Abita, Nathan Mariah Welsh, Joe Newell, Martin Boyle, Emiliano, Mizian and Dylan Venti. On the bench for Hibs, Murray Johnson, Dylan Levitt. A return from injury for Jake Doyle Hayes. Luke Amos, Lewis Stevenson, Adam LaFondre, Nectar Triantis, Jair and Josh Campbell. Corner on the far side for Hibbs. Be taken by Mark Boyle. Nicely into Venti. Back from Mariah Welsh at the edge of the area. Looks for the shooting opportunity. Well, strike wasn't bad, direction wasn't too great. This is around six yards wide of Kelly Roos's near post as we look at it, not really causing the Aberdeen goalkeeper any difficulty. 20 minutes on the clock, it stays Hibs nil, Aberdeen nil. Boyle and Mizian appear to have swapped flanks. Mizian looks for the shooting opportunity with the right foot, spilled by Kelly Roos. Chance here. A great stop the second time by the Aberdeen goalkeeper. Well, he made up for the fumble the first time. Mizian's effort dipping right in front of the Don's keeper. He kind of spilled it, parried it back out to the edge of the six-yard box. Martin Boyle's second effort was net bound, but Roos was able to get back on his feet and pan it wide for a corner. Clarkson arrows that ball down this near side for Hoylet. Looks to take on Cadden. Oh, his defence allowed that one to run right into the 18 yard box. Fortunately, no one in red able to pick it up. Clarkson, that's a great effort. That's a fantastic strike from Lee Clarkson from the edge of the 18 yard box. Beats Jojo Wallaco, all ends up. Quality finish from the Dons midfielder. 29 minutes on the clock. Hibbs nil, Aberdeen 1. That little spell of pressure there from Aberdeen, Joel, was causing Hibbs problems at the back. Lovely ball forward by Barron. Red Veldo by Jordan, the beat up. He's lost out to Evelyn on the far side. Cut back here, chance for Hoylet. Can he get the shot away? Chance for the Dons, it's a second. Dante Polvara. It was again guilty of not getting the lines cleared. Jordan Abita on the edge of the area. He feels he was fouled. He's certainly having a word with the referee, Grant Irvin. The ball was won back by Nicky Devlin. Played to Dante Polvara midway inside the penalty area and he wasted no time in dispatching it with the right foot. Difficult for the Dutchman to get under. Agrad as well skips away from Newell. Goes along, finds Hoylet. Goes forward to the edge of the Hibs 18 yard box, throws it into the path of Clarkson. Well left for Miolski, and he's not missing from there. Aberdeen cut the Hibs defence wide open. Easy finish for Bozan Miolski. 51 minutes on the clock, Hibs nil. Aberdeen three. And what was. A mountain for Hibs to climb as it was now becomes Mount Everest. Yeah, again, far too easy for, for Aberdeen. However, taking nothing away from, from this goal, it was fantastic play, switching from the right to the left. The step over there from, from Clarkson and a, a fantastic finish from, from Mielski. But in my opinion, far too easy from, from a Hibs perspective. We need to show a bit more desire. We need to up our work rate and our intensity. And we actually need to show that, that we want to win this game today. Josh Campbell he plays the ball forward out of play for a throw into Hibbs. Brilliant and rubbish from the Dons number three all in one. Will beat now for Hibbs on this near side. Drips the ball in. Oh well, Mizian got in there. Got a good solid head on it, just couldn't direct it inside the post. A foot and a half or so wide of the near post. It was a lovely delivery from Jordan Abita. Mizian got there but just 
couldn't guide it on target. Chance comes to nothing and it stays. There's nil Aberdeen three. 79 minutes on the clock here at Easter Road. Now roll back to Jojo Wallacott. He is long into the Don's half. It's flicked on by Campbell for Mizian. One on one with Kelly Roos. And hits it straight into the legs of the Aberdeen goalkeeper. If he goes either side of the keeper, he scores. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Kelly Roos. Unfortunately, though, you get the feeling at the moment that Hibbs could play for another 90 minutes and still not really trouble Kelly Roos. The beater clips it forward for LaFondre, taken down nicely. Needs some support. Let it down. Short for LaFondre. Oh, that was a good effort from Adam LaFondre. In fairness, Kelly Roos throwing himself down his left hand side, getting a palm on it. Mizian stopped in his tracks again by Cartman, who's been a brick wall for Aberdeen at the back. Clip forward now for Shinny down the far side for Duke. Pushes towards the edge of the Hibs 18 yard box and finds Sockler. Takes a touch, cuts it back. That's a fourth for Aberdeen, and it's the youngster Boyd. Caps off. his afternoon with a fourth for Aberdeen greeted with glee by his teammates and the Aberdeen fans behind the goal and Hibbs once again cut open at the back and an easy finish for Boyd Hibbs nil, Aberdeen four Far too easy, Cliff. Far too passive. Watching the ball, not checking shoulders and allowing players to run off into key crucial areas and get on the end of, of balls like that. Three Hibs men on the edge of the six yard box there, and the Aberdeen youngster nips in between all of them. And he'll never have an easier finish in his life. Right. Caps off. A dreadful afternoon for the home side. It finishes here. Hibs nil. Aberdeen four. And you can tell by the reaction of the fans that are still left in the stadium what they thought of that. Let's take a little look. Highlights from this afternoon's game. If you 